hi guys you're welcome back to my channel so in making this dress you have to fold your pattern paper into two like this then you're gonna have your shoulder and chest lines okay so to get your chest line it's going to be half of your armhole circumference measurement then from the shoulder line I've measured um, the points where we're going to curve in the um, dress okay so i did about 30 inches okay and then um you're also going to be measuring the length of the dress it's a full length dress okay so i'm doing 56 inches now next thing is to mark your um, shoulder measurement now you mark half of your across back or shoulder i'm working with seven so i just mark seven on the shoulder and um, chest line so this is going to be like a guide for me this is not um what i'm going to be using finally just a guideline so i'll just draw a broken line like that okay now the next thing to determine um uh, the neck width okay so it depends on what you want actually so i'm doing four inch and i'm not marking the depth yet okay then my shoulder slant is supposed to be one inch normally if we're drafting a normal um, dress with shoulder okay but i'm not going to be using this line that's why i drew a dotted line it's just a guideline for us so um next step is to mark the length of the sleeve and the sleeve usually starts from anything from the after the shoulder okay so for me i'm going to be working with um, 11 inches yeah that's because i'm working with just two yards of crepe material so i'll just be doing 11 inch for the length of my sleeve so i'll be measuring that from um the shoulder line there okay the marking where i marked half of the across and back measurement okay then we'll have to reshape the shoulder slant so what i'll do now is i'm going to come down by one inch from my original shoulder line and then i will now draw the shoulder slant okay so we're not using the first one i drew okay so now after drawing the shoulder slant i can now mark the length of sleeve i was talking about previously which is 11 inch so from that point i'm going to mark um, 11 inch so you can do more than this actually okay the next thing as a guide just as a guide i'll be marking um my sleeve opening okay now the sleeve opening should be more than your bicep measurement okay now you can use your um shoulder to chest line measurements or let me say your arm circumference as a guide so if your arm circumference is probably 16 so you can just you know come down from this line by eight or nine inch but make sure the opening is you know wide enough okay because it's not just about the sleeve now but it has to be wide enough to avoid any unnecessary folds around the bust area so i came down by nine inch from this point mm -hmm. okay then on the chest line just as a guide i'm going to mark quarter of my bust circumference measurement okay there it's just a guide this now i'm going to link these two points together okay so i did nine inch for the sleeve opening like i said so this is the point there now i'm going to use my ruler to connect so this is my sleeve opening all right okay then next thing on the line where we're going to be drawing the style line for the dress okay that's um the 30 inch mark on the shoulder line okay what i'll do now is i'm going to mark quarter of my hip circumference on that line and i'll find a way of linking it to the sleeve opening there okay so quarter of the hip i'm working with is 40 but it's not a fitted dress so you need to still add some allowance to whatever you calculated so quarter of my hip is 10 I'll add extra three inches allowance but whatever it is you're adding make sure it doesn't um, go beyond 
the sleeve opening at the top there. By the time you want to link it back up, make sure it doesn't go beyond that opening there. Okay? Yeah, whatever you're adding. So I'm adding three inches to cut out my hip circumference measurement. You can actually add more, okay? Or less, but it shouldn't be less than two, else it becomes a fitted um, garment. Now I'm going to link the slit opening with my um, pattern master. I'm going to create like a curve for my armhole and the sleeve there, okay? So there. Then I'm going to use my long ruler to link that point to um, the line below the hip line actually because yeah, that way. So now we're not supposed to have like a square there. I'm still going to use my pattern master to blend out, okay? We're supposed to have a curve and not, you know, a sharp corner there. So I'm just going to blend out with my pattern master that way okay so i think this looks good now yeah okay so then going to the hemline now the same thing i have on this line i'll be marking the same thing on the hemline okay the same thing so i'll just do that Okay, so I'm just trying to move the paper around so that we can have like a view of the whole pattern so far. Okay, so that we're not lost. Now, I'm going to mark that value on this line here. So I'm just going to measure what I have here. This is 13. I'll be marking the same thing on the hemline. Then I'll use my long ruler to connect. Okay, so there. Okay, so I hope we can have an overview of what the pattern looks so far. Now I'm going to cut out. But mind you, our design is an asymmetric dress, okay? So I'm going to be using this pattern to cut out both the front and the back. So I'm going to cut out the unwanted parts on the pattern paper. Okay, so this is it. Now, actually, you can draft this directly on your fabric. Okay, but I'm just using paper so that we can understand the explanation. Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to cut out the unwanted part, like I said. Okay, so I'm cutting towards the slit opening there. And the good thing is you can use this pattern to cut both the front and the back okay and then I'm cutting uh, the excess at the top there and the shoulder slants now if you notice I've not yet marked the neck depth yet yes it's intentional okay so by the time we open up the pattern on both sides then we can go ahead to create the kind of neckline we want. So I'm cutting through the shoulder stance and then the excess at the top there. When we transfer this to our um, fabric, we can be adding same allowance. Now I'm going to mark the point where I marked my neck width, which is 4 inch. You can see the notch there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and open up my pattern now. And then we'll create the style line for the asymmetric dress. So this is how the pattern is going to look like. Okay, now I know it's a, it's a large pattern, so we might not see it at once. Yeah, this is it. So the fold is automatically my center front. Let me just use um, a colored pen to demarcate that. Okay, the fold is automatically my center front. Yeah, and then remember we made notches to indicate where the um, neck width stopped. That is where I'm marking. You can see the markings there. Okay, so now to create a symmetric neckline, you decide on which side of dress you want the off shoulder to be. Okay, so first step is from the center front, you're going to come down by at least four inch. You don't want the dress to choke you on your neck. So um, from the center front, you come down by four inch. You can come down more than that. Okay, but at least four. 
so this is my center front then um fan off shoulder what we normally do is on the shoulder line you come down by at least four inch but for this particular dress the sleeve is cut together with um the dress so i'll be linking here here okay and then on this side here i'll come down by three inch this is the off the part that will be the off shoulder and like i said it's cut together with the sleeve so it will not come down too much so that you know you're not revealing so much now i'm going to link all the three points together okay from the um first shoulder tip here to the um center front and then back to the three inch points that we came down okay that way and then we have to do a way of linking it to the shoulder slant there okay so just go in by two inch it's fine except you want it to be really off just two is fine i just mark two inch there and then i'll complete the style line so the way the dress is both the sleeve both sleeves as in the shoulder part and the off shoulder part have been cut together and uh, with the dress so i'll just trim off that unwanted part okay then for the lower parts of the dress okay it has you know like an handkerchief kind of style line but it is not centralized don't worry let me just cut out this um, neckline first then we'll go back to the lower part yeah so i was talking about the lower part that the um handkerchief design on it is not centralized instead it's tilted to one side of the dress so we're also going to be doing that okay so let me extend this line this is the point where we are going to like create the star line for the lower part of the dress it's 30 inches from the shoulder line okay so i'll just extend this line like that mm -hmm. the next thing is to now create the design so i've drawn a line there at the lower part okay to indicate my um the middle of the pattern of the dress rather so now from the edge of the paper here i'll just mark about five or six inches since the design is tilted towards one side it's not centralized so i'll just mark about five or six inches that way okay then i want to use my long ruler to link um that point to the top part there okay so i'm going to link this to um this point here okay that's the 30 inch mark so i hope we're not confused so i'll just link this like so and then on the other end there okay i'm just going to link from this end here down to the same points there i told you that the the style line is not centralized it's um tilted to one side of the dress so i'm just going to link this with my ruler to link like so so after linking i will now cut out the unwanted parts now for this particular dress you need to use um a flowy fabric like crepe georgette chiffon something light and flowy okay so now i'm going to trim out the unwanted parts now this is my pattern so i'm going to go ahead now and transfer this to my fabric i'll be cutting two of this okay so be mindful while cutting so that you don't cut two right sides okay so here i've cut out my pattern then you should also cut out two facing for each of the um pieces okay so the facing is a shorter version of the dress just trace out the um, neckline and then cut something short it's just to tidy up the neckline okay so now i'll go ahead and turn each of um, the neckline with each of the facing on each of the um, pieces there with half inch seam allowance okay so i'll just sew it round and then do a top stitch so before you do that, you want to just pin the facing to each of the piece, right side facing and um, right side, yeah. Same thing with the other one, the second piece, 
you're going to place right side facing the right side and then go ahead to sew it together yeah so you just go ahead and sew it and then move to the next step all right so i'm done sewing this is how um the neckline looks like after sewing you can see the facing and make sure you top stitch this is also the second piece here so next step is to go ahead and join um the front and back together at the shoulder with half inch seam allowance then i want to be turning the sleeve opening with a band just two inch wide yeah my fabric wasn't enough i needed to extend the length of the sleeve okay so this is it you can see the band i added okay this is the band it's about two inch wide i just measured the length of the sleeve opening and i attached it okay and this is the second one here okay but it's optional actually now i'll go ahead and sew the side seam yeah so for the side seam side seam allowance is one inch on the wrong side you're going to stitch one inch all the way to that 30 inch mark okay before the um a line or should i call it triangle design began yeah so i'll go ahead and do that okay guys so it's so far so good this is how far i've gone okay and then next thing is you're going to cut out a band two inches high and i used a different fabric you know just to make the design more obvious so the band is two inch high and it's unfold yeah so you're going to attach the band from um starting from the front first okay you attach it um probably you should lose the side seam a little on both sides of the dress so you attach the band from one end of the um dress that's from front to back separate sorry front to front and back to back okay i hope that was clear so i'll just fix it now for us to see yeah so i fixed the band this is what i was saying here this is it okay so i just fixed it from front one end on the front round to the other part and the back too okay from one end of on the back to the other end there and then to finish up the band you just leave the side seam a little and then you this is it from the side seam like so you just sew it and like that and make sure you use an overlock machine to lock all the rough edges now you cut out a band like this 2.5 inch high or higher and then the length should be your waist circumference plus extra one inch for the overlap for the button and then you fix um your buttons on this okay so this is what will serve as your belt all right so this is the final outcome of the dress it's so so lovely yeah so thank you so much for watching this tutorial bye